put the new trailer right to work. 500 bucks got me this heavy duty. Brand new lights. All brand new wire. Ain't gonna break those fenders. Brand new tires. Worth more than I paid for the whole thing. So, obviously, we lost interest in the project. Put all the new lights, new tires, did a bunch of stuff to it. And uh, before he had the chance to put a new deck on, he stopped and that was it. $500 is all he wanted. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's uh, about a foot wider than my car trailer. And uh, plus, overall, it's probably very windy. Uh, you can drive right over those fenders. tongue on this thing don't have the adapter it's got the round plug gotta go buy the adapter I just got it the other day and uh, guy wanted me to pick up that dismantled what was left of a diesel box truck so he had an S uh, backhoe to load it on so I said might as well try out the new trailer only a day old so those are the ramps that were on it For some reason they there's a big bar that welds on back here and there and there and then they bar goes through the ramps there and they pivot hinge up so I gotta do is weld that back on and looks like uh, previously it had a underneath storage maybe the ramps he stored them under there I don't know but huge axles mobile home about 17 feet long it's got the beaver tail I need to uh, raise up my uh, receiver a little bit more. I already got a two inch, or maybe that's about a one inch raise on it, but I need to come up a little more and uh, get some nice decking on there. Winch he had right in there. So probably just get the winch plate, slides right in. Get it set up. Not much of a celebration as far as money goes today. Well, but I guess we could celebrate the new trailer. Two hundred and fifteen bucks. That stuff I had. The. Uh, diesel engine on the cradle and the uh, rear end, a few other things. They gave me unprepared number one for that and then just light iron for the cab. So it's the middle of the day, it's lunchtime. But never got the iced coffee this morning so Here we go, and uh, minor celebration. Sausage, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. I know.
He's eating that again. Yep. So, looking around for uh, another car trailer for a while. The old one, still working good, but it's getting a little fatigued over the years. Got to be near 15, maybe, more than 15 years now, hauling cars. With that old thing. But I really didn't want, you know, I wanted a real, like mine's, you know, an actual car trailer. It's not a homemade thing. But can't touch them can't touch them for less than 3,000 then you could pay it like 4,045 and get a brand new one but I didn't really want a homemade kind of you know mobile home axle thing like most people run up here but a guy told me about this, and actually it was on Craigslist, which I don't really use anymore. I don't think a lot of people do. Usually you just use uh, Marketplace on Facebook, but I never really look on there. But the guy said, he said, I'm going to give you a lead on a, a nice trailer for sale. The guy wants cheap. So it turns out I he ended up telling me about it. Went on Craigslist and I found the ad. Kind of crappy pictures of it in the tall grass. It looked um in the pictures I will say it looked lower to the ground than it is. But contacted the guy and he had it on there for six he told the other guy he'd be willing to take five I said well I think it's worth taking a ride to go check this thing out for that money can't buy much for 500 bucks I mean can't even buy a small little utility trailer for that So it was about almost three hours, almost a three hour ride to go. And I said, whatever, hopped in the black truck, went down there. Like I said, the tires he just put on, the stickers were still on there. They actually just came off when I started towing it. Repacked all the bearings, put the new tires on, new lights, all nicely done. He said the decking got really bad, started, you know, falling off and pieces of it, and all the wood, you know. That's loud. So he was, he was hauling some cars with it, he said with a half ton Dodge. He said the Dodge really didn't like it, it's a heavy trailer, but. He started the project and said he was gonna, you know, he was gonna redo it all. He was in the, he was doing it all up nice and then he said, you know, just got too busy with other things and too many projects and things to fix and work and so, it went on the back burner, and uh, 
I checked it out. I'm like, well, the $500 can't really refuse that. Hook up and go. So, the only thing is on the black truck, it doesn't really have like a real hitch on it because of the uh, lift gate. So, it only just has a receiver coming out. You can't change it. It's not actually a receiver. So you can only change the ball itself. So you can't put anything to raise it or, or anything. So um, this trailer, the way they got it set up is the tongue is really dropped down for some reason. So putting it on that truck, it was, it was doing one of these, you know, those stupid people you see with the towing the campers and stuff with the F-150s and they're all sagging in the back. But no weight on it. Truck towed it fine. Just uh, I'm going to need, if I want to tow it with that, which it's a pretty heavy trailer and a half ton might not be the best option, unfortunately. So. Dually is going to be the, I think, the main gun for towing this one. Well, hold it back, no problem. Well, hooked up to the dually, went the next day down onto a camp in the woods, and the guy had this uh, old Chevy. 80s diesel box truck. He pulled it out of the woods and he used to drive it low miles, but it fell apart. The frame broke right in half, so he tore the box off it with the backhoe and used that to store some stuff as a shed and started breaking it piece by piece and bringing it to the dump. Well, Someone at the dump seen him, and uh, someone that I know, and they told him, hey, I know a guy that'll just come get all that stuff and just put it on his trailer and take it away, rather than hauling it to the dump piece by piece. So, that guy got in contact with me, and he set it up. It was, uh, the cab with just the seats in it. And um, it was a 6.2 diesel. The transmission hooked to it right on the front engine cradle with the front control arms, spindles, brakes, everything was there. And then the big 14 bolt rear end. cat off that Ford Ranger oh yeah so I was all excited had a turbo 400 attached to that diesel engine with the yoke in the back, which is the same as this truck and my camper. I said, I'm definitely gonna keep that. Rare thing to find these days, and he said it was good. The, the van was running and driving, it just brought it apart. But after he uh, lifted it up with a chain, raised it over my trailer, he dropped it a good ways. It fell. The chain slipped off or something. I don't know what happened, but it was a terrible crash. Tested out the new trailer. Didn't didn't hurt that at all, but um, cracked the bell housing on the transmission. So no good now. So beautiful day. A little bit warm, 
Rosie doesn't like this truck because too hot, too hot inside. Plus, you know, a little too warm. But beautiful day. Took a ride. Ninety miles. Burn some fuel. Made a little bit of profit. Not too much. As my old friend Frank the Bank used to say, it's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Got an old shit spreader in stock. Old John Deere shit spreader turned into a trailer. Never know what you're gonna get. You pick up junk. free guy said you can haul it you can have it even bought me the hitch Got trailers in stock. Really? Ooh, look at that baby, huh? Ooh, what's going on here? Road master. 